other indications where immobilization of the humerus is required. For example, fractures of the shoulder joint. Define the position of the limb before the start of the application. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain. Choose the appropriate width of stockinette for the arm. Measure the length of the whole arm from the shoulder to the knuckles. Add another 20 centimeters or 8 inches and cut. Roll up the stockinette before applying onto the limb to prevent sliding pressure. Roll off over the upper arm and elbow. Make a cut into the stockinette under the armpit. Pull the stockinette over the back and the opposite shoulder of the patient. Make another cut and underneath the arm tie the ends together. This will keep the stockinette in place during the splint application. Apply padding to the limb by wrapping it from below the elbow up to the shoulder. Use extra padding for any bony prominences. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying Plaster of Paris. Select the appropriate width of the Plaster of Paris bandage. Fold the bandage into six layers at the length needed to fit the patient. Pick up the bandage in a zigzag shape. Activate the splint by dipping into cool water, holding the ends and maintaining the splint fold. Remove from water and gently squeeze to drain. Straighten out the splint and run it over the edge of the bucket to smooth and dispose of surplus water. Apply onto the patient's upper arm, wrapping the end over the elbow and back up the arm to form a U-shape. Fix with a bandage. Cut away any surplus splint. Fold back the padding at the proximal end of the arm. Remove the part of the stockinette that secured it in place by cutting it. Fold down the arm stockinette at the proximal and distal ends. Smooth edges provide skin protection and comfort. Using an elastic or cohesive bandage, wrap at the elbow, first going distally, then proximally. Proceed up the arm, overlapping by 50% of the bandage, and fix. Check the desired range of motion and any points that may cause irritation or pressure. After approximately three to five minutes, the splint is set and the patient can be released. After 24 hours, the splint is fully set.